This is a short presentation on scaling Gaussian process regression with derivatives, a paper appearing in NeurIPS 2018. My name is David Eriksson, a PhD student in Applied Math at Cornell University, and this is joint work with Kundong, Eric Hansley, David Bindel, and Andrew Wilson. Gaussian process is a distribution over functions specified by mean mu and kernel k. In regression, we assume y are noisy observations of the GP at points x. Given y, we would like to infer values at other points. In kernel learning, we also want to learn the best values of the kernel hyperparameters. A GP prior on f implies a multivariate Gaussian distribution over the function values and their gradients. The value of the derivative formation is clearly illustrated by the figure. On the left, you can see the true contours of the Brownian function. In the middle is a GP without gradients, and on the right is a GP with gradients. The latter looks much closer to the ground truth than the former. In the empirical base approach to kernel learning, we learn the hyperparameters theta by maximizing the log marginal likelihood of the data given the hyperparameters. We need to evaluate not only the model fit term, but also the complexity penalty. Naively, this requires dense matrix operations that cost order n cube d cube flops, which isn't scalable. Instead, we build fast MVMs with KNABLA, which is achieved by differentiating a fast MVM with the original kernel matrix. We use a preconditioned conjugate gradient method to solve linear systems and stochastic trace estimation for the log determinant, which both rely only on fast MVMs. Our fast MVMs extend ski and skip to incorporate gradient information, where ski and skip are two fast MVMs for kernel matrices exploding grid structure and kernel product structure together with Hadamard structure, respectively. Our fast MVMs have a small approximation error, and you can see below that they match both the original matrix and the spectrum of the true kernel. We consider several applications. A key application of our approach is Bayesian optimization with active subspace learning. The general idea is that gradient information can be used to reveal low dimensional structure, making it possible to do kernel learning and optimization of the acquisition function in this low dimensional space. In the example below, we use the ski and significantly outperform traditional Bayesian optimization and other gradient-based descent methods. In another application, we consider implicit surface reconstruction of the Stanford bunny, which is a triangulation with 25,000 points and normals. The original dataset is shown on the left, and the same dataset with heavily noise normals is shown in the middle. On the right is our implicit GP fitted to the noisy data, and we are able to recover an implicit surface that looks similar to the ground truth. In summary, we have shown that scalable kernel learning and inference is possible with derivative information. It only requires fast MVMs with a kernel matrix. We combine this with active subspace learning to improve Bayesian optimization. You can find an implementation at the link below, and please come visit our poster if you are interested.